we have an object called as developer, which has few properties in it. We'll say name happens to be Sam. City happens to be Bangalore. Skills happens to be an array of strings. Okay, I could store it as a string with comma separated, but uh, typically because these are skills collection of values, you would ideally want to store it inside an array. And inside that you will say something like JS, React, Node, so on and so forth. Right? So these are the skills that this particular developer uh, possess. So what if I want to be in a position to display all the skills that are there of a given developer, right? What if I want to display all the skills that is present of a given developer? So we can take one of two approaches. Again, it also depends on the kind of output that we would want. For example, let us say, suppose I just want to generate a string and display that, hey, you know what? These are the skills of Sam. If that is the output that we want, then what we can do is we know that developer is our object. If I want to get all the skills, I can use the dot skills property. So what happens? Developer is this object. I'm accessing a property called a skills. What does it do? It returns the value that that property holds. So let's open up the terminal. And now when I run this code, I'll say node obj dot js. Now it comes back and returns basically the value that it holds. What is skills holding? It's holding an array of values. Now, what if, okay, what if I don't want to display it as an array, but I want to display it comma separated. Okay. So here there are two things that you have to keep in mind. The first thing is if it's a collection of values at the end of the day, within your object, you will still end up storing it as an array of strings. Just because my final output requires it to be comma separated, doesn't mean that I would store the values comma separated. Like for example, I'll not say that I'm going to create a string called as JS react and node. So when I say node obj.js, yes, it gives me the kind of output that I require, but doesn't mean that I want to store the information as a string just because I want the output that way, doesn't mean that I'm going to store it that way. Now, the reason is why an ideal way of storing information is an array of strings, no doubt in this case, this will help me in performing further kinds of operations. Like for example, I also want to know the total skills present for that particular developer here, it is not going to help. Why? Because I have a string. Then if I think about doing a length, it will tell me the total number of characters in that string. But instead, whenever we store information, we store it, store the information in a certain way. And then whenever we consume this information, we perform the necessary modifications that is required in our program. Now, what is the advantage of this? If I am storing this information as array of strings, first requirement is I want to display all the strings, all the skills comma separated. No problem. We know that array dot skills returns what or developer dot skills returns what it returns an array. You have learned that array has a method because arrays are objects, objects have methods. There is a method for you to convert an array into a string. What is that method called as? We can either use the two string method or we could use something like the join method. Okay. Split Rajesh is to convert a string into an array. I'm talking about converting an array into a string. Okay. So I can use the join method and then decide on what delimiter that I want to join my array elements with. 
So now what is going to happen is when I run this code, it now returns that particular string the way I want. Now, why the join method over the two string method? So let us see what's going to happen if I use the two string method. Now, when I do the two string method, it converts my array to a string, no doubt about it, but I don't get more control in formatting that particular result. Now, as you can see here, whenever I use the two string method, it just separated the values via the comma, by the comma. But let's say I want a comma and a space, or maybe I don't even want a comma and a space. I want a hyphen between the skills. So at that point of time, our two string is not going to be as effective as required. Then we can continue to go back and use the join method because in join, we can specify the separator. How do we want to separate the array elements? So let's say I wanted by the space and a hyphen, I can still go on to do it the way I want. So in the exercise, what we have done is we've just basically done a comma and a space because we wanted to return the array elements, which is array of strings in a string format. Now, what is the advantage of storing the value in the proper data structure? Right, because at the end of the day, array is a data structure. So as an object, it's again a data structure. Why is the importance of it? Because the moment I store the information in a proper data structure, then I know I can perform further operations based on it. Like what? Here, if when I want to showcase the skills of the developer, what if I want to display the total skills of the developer? No problem. You know that we can do developer.skills returns an array. I can now call the length property of it. So by doing that, we know what are the total skills that is present of that particular table. Does this make sense? Right. Accessing strings within which is present inside an array, which is present inside an object. That is the reason why we have done this in our code. Does that answer your question, Pavitra?